What's going on everybody? Quaker here, back with another video. Today I have a quick update for two apps, the camera as well as the media player application on Windows 11. Um, they got recently updated to new versions and they added some new features. On the camera side, we got updated to build uh, twenty-two, like 2022.2006.2.0. And basically what this brought out was a redesign, ironically. Um, it didn't have a redesign. I will throw up a screenshot of what it looked like before. And then in this video, you'll see what it looks like currently. Uh, this update is currently for both of these applications, the media player and the camera app um, are only available on the dev channel. And I'm not even sure if every dev channel person is getting it or not. In my case, what I had to do was I had to manually go to the Microsoft store, uh, hit get updates um, multiple times on the store, check for updates. And I think on the camera side, I literally had to type in camera um, on the search for the Microsoft store in order to see prompt the update. So you got to play around with it a couple bit minutes in order to actually get the update for this if you're on the dev channel. Now, fast forwarding to the application itself, you see it right here. You see that I have a little placeholder image here because uh, I have some things that I have to talk about with this whole thing here. And um, for starters, it did get a redesign. Um, so now it says it is now updated to the look and feel of Windows 11. Um, I have it connected currently to my Elgato Cam Link 4K, which you'll see in a second. My room is kind of dark, so you won't see me that much, um, but that's fine. That's not the point of the video. And what got added into this is the ability to uh, basically capture for whiteboard, uh, have document, video. It says, in addition to existing support for camera, video, document, and whiteboard capture modes, they added QR code and barcode scanning as well. That's what I wanted to say. And the barcode actually does work. So currently we are on the barcode area right here. So if I press up, you can see that this is camera. You can see down is barcode and that's it. But barcode actually shows QR code. So what they should have said rather on the blog post is just said now they can scan QR codes because I think most people are going to use the, the, their tablets for the most part um, to scan QR codes. And it does work and I'll show it in just a sec. So you got those that option now and it is this one right here. This is the general new layout of it. Um, one thing I don't like is that I've already saw it seen just from looking at it for like a glance is when you need to change the different inputs for your camera, this is what you have up here. This is, this is what you have. Yes, you can change your default camera deep into settings on Windows, but you can just click this and then you see me talking right here and this is what you have. So it's, it's not great because as I click it, it cycles you know, imaging edge, it cycles. There's no quick drop down menu at all over here to figure out uh, what what exactly you're clicking into next. So you will never know what source you're trying to click on, which is kind of annoying. So Microsoft, there's one thing I would have you fix is let us be able to manually switch exactly which source we want because I have three different ways that I can connect a webcam. And if I connected my Logitech um, webcam to this computer as well, I would have four and that means I have to keep cycling through all of them or go deep into Windows settings in order to change them. And with settings, uh, going up here, we have settings. So you can change and you see the little preview right here. I'm still speaking. Uh, you can change turn on pro mode and it turns on advanced controls. Turn on framing uh, mode so you can turn on various different things. Rule of thirds is what it shows. It shows a preview of everything. Crosshairs, uh, square so you can see if you're in frame like that. Um, I kind of like rule of thirds. So I'm going to leave that there. It says when I hold the camera button, take one photo, hold the camera button to start a burst, kind of like smartphones, exactly how they work. Drop down, you can change the quality of the photo. Eight megapixel for some reason is the max that this supports, even though I'm connected via the Elgato Cam Link 4K. And this camera is a Sony a7R 3 Could shoot much higher, but not sure what the discrepancy is of it there is. I'm sure someone will mention it. You can do uh, time lapses. So it says when the timer is on, keep taking photos until I press the camera button again, which is kind of insane. So you can do those. Um, if you are an artist, for example, and you like to do stop motion, this is a good option to do stop motion. Um, video quality, obviously video quality kind of stays the same because this is a Cam Link 4K. So naturally it for supports 4K. And this input will determine will be determinant on uh, what your camera supports. So this camera supports 4K 30. That's the current setting that it's on in the camera. So this is what you'll see for me. Um, here it says choose whether the camera can use location info and various things. This will pop you into settings. And then here I just wanted to turn on experimental features because that's the kind of guy I am. 
So going back, you can see the rule of thirds. It's kind of annoying. I wish that the rule of thirds was kind of a little dimmer, kind of blended into the background a little bit more, but that's fine. Um, so I'm in the QR code option here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause and I'm going to go get my phone and I'm going to scan a QR code for you guys. All right. So now I'm back. I have a QR code for you guys. Let me move this out of the way so it doesn't look as annoying. Um, so I have it right here on my phone and I'm going to scan it even with my face there. So it's a QR code going to, I think, google.com. So let's see. There you go. And then you put it away. And then it, if I click this here, it'll go to google.com. Uh, in fact, if I click it there and I can drag this over and you guys will see that it's now at google.com, which is pretty dope. Uh, minimize that and now we're back in so it's it's pretty dope let me keep this color thing back in so it's pretty dope that it does work really well um, QR codes do work uh, I don't know about barcodes um, I don't have any barcodes to scan um, perhaps maybe the barcode for these uh, snacks here I don't know I'm just testing out something to see what will happen so let's 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 see what happens if I scan any barcode I, I'm just curious what happens Okay, so it read the barcode as 2962, uh, 29262. Um, oh, yeah, and then the 8 over there, it got it too. 00340, and it got it too. So let me try to do that again. Let me move it away and then try to bring it back. Let's see if, if it gets it, if I can hold still. There you go. So it did, in fact, get the barcode exactly correct, and that's pretty dope in my opinion. Um, here's the normal camera, just like that. If I take a photo, it sees focus. Just like that, it tells you what's in focus. Um, and then you got the video mode as usual too, which lets me take a video if I want to. And you can check the brightness level too. So if I wanna bump up the brightness, which kinda looks like an overlay in my opinion, it doesn't look like it's actually brightening anything up. You can do that, but I'm gonna keep it right in the middle because I like that feel. So in general, that's the camera app. Um, that's the update for it. It looks pretty decent. Next up, we're gonna go to the media player application right here. Here I have a picture, a video of my niece. Uh, the media player was already updated to the Windows 11 design, so there's nothing I need to show you here. The only addition that it was added was audio CD ripping now. You can add, you can rip CDs finally. Um, so if you have a CD, you pop it in a CD-ROM drive that's connected to the computer, and you can rip the CDs into various formats. And unfortunately, I can't show you that because I don't have a CD connected. I thought the option would just pop up automatically um, regardless, but I guess I'm assuming that it only shows up if you actually have a CD player connected and it'll detect it automatically. But that version, uh, if you're looking for reference, and I'll put it bigger on the screen, is uh, 11.2206.30. That's gonna be that version that you'll look forward to uh, if you wanna see, um, if you have a CD player connected and you wanna test this out as well. So those are the two things. I know I'm able to make this video longer than it needs to be, but that's about it. Catch you guys in the next one. Let me know what you think about this update, especially on the camera side of things, the redesigned camera app.